Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. We all know you can create many different lip looks with lipsticks these days. There's metallic lips, there's ombre gradient lips, there's vampy lips, and even that weird lollipop lip trend. But did you know there are other ways you could use your lipsticks, liquid lipsticks included? Here are eight ways you could use your lipsticks other than on your lips. And I'm talking practical ways too. Not like in the movie where the girl writes a cute message on the guy's mirror. Let's be realistic, he would hate to clean that up. Plus, I ain't wasting my $50 Chanel lipstick like that. I just go through his Instagram and like every photo until he calls me back. Number one, you can use your lipstick to color correct. Do you remember that phase where everyone was putting red lipstick under their eyes to hide the dark circles? Well, if you have super, super dark circles, that might work for you. But for me, I'm not that extreme, so I'm gonna use a peachy shade. Here I've got the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Noble. I'm gonna dot some underneath my eyes and blend it out with a beauty blender. The peachy tone will help neutralize any darkness under my eyes so when I apply concealer on top, it won't look ashy. Number two, if you have a brown lipstick or something that will complement your hair color, you can use it to fill in your eyebrows. A matte lipstick would work best for this. Here I'm using Sepia from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using a small angled brush to apply it. I like to start in the middle of my brows and draw small hair-like strokes. Then use a cotton tip to blend out the start of my brows to make it look softer. Next, I clean up the shape with a tiny bit of concealer and voila, we're done. Number three, if you want to change up the hair colors of your brow, you could also use your lipstick. Just grab a disposable or old mascara wand and use it to apply the lipstick over your hairs. I'm using the shade Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. Number four, you could use your lipstick to contour. Obviously, this will only work if you have a suitable shade of lipstick. I'm using the shade Sis from MAC because it's a neutral color and has a satin finish, which makes it easy to blend. I'm going to use the lipstick to map out the areas on my face that I want to sculpt and then blend it out with my MAC 163 brush. If you're gonna try this, remember to apply powder over the areas to make it last longer. Number five is an oldie but a goodie. You can double up your lipstick and use it as blush. I find that cream textures work best for this as it's most easy to blend. I like to use my fingers and apply it on my cheeks with a patting motion. This will give you a supernatural look like you're blushing from within. Number six, you could use your lipsticks as eyeshadows. Here I'm using the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Child Star, and I'm just dotting a small amount onto my lid and blending it out with my fingers. I then blur out the edges using a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Now, if you want a soft wash of color, you can stop here. Otherwise, you can add more colors on top. I'm going to add a darker shade. This is Veronica from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to apply it on the outer corner and blend it up. Now, because liquid lipsticks are highly pigmented, I like to use a small amount and slowly build up the intensity. A little goes a long way with this. Once you finish the rest of your eye makeup, you can't even tell you use lipstick. Number seven, a really cool way to make use of your liquid lipsticks is to use it as eyeliner. I'm feeling bold and adventurous today, so I'm gonna use a blue liquid lipstick. This is Who Zooming Who from Too Faced. I'm going to use a small angled brush and draw a flick on the end of my eyes. Then slowly follow my lash line to create a cat eye look. Voila, we have a graphic liner. 
Number eight, this last one is great if you want to experiment with colors. You could use your liquid lipsticks as colored mascara. Yep, this trend is definitely making a comeback. And if you want to try it, all you need is a mascara wand and a liquid lipstick. I'm using this vibrant purple called Unicorn from Too Faced, and I'm just using it to brush through my lashes like normal mascara. If you want to lock in the color and make sure it stays put, simply apply an extra coat of clear mascara over it. And ta-da, now you're ready for the fashion runways. So that's it to this video. I hope you guys have learned some cool tips and tricks. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like and comment below. Maybe I can create a similar video for eyeshadows next. What do you think? Also, if you can help me and subscribe to my channel, I'm trying to get to 2 million. Well, that's 4 million. 2 million by the end of this year. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.